So I finally gotten back from my second trip to Tokyo for work. And just like with my first trip, I wanted to be able to show y'all all of the omiyage uh, that I got while I was there, all the souvenirs. Now you might see these type of things where I'm showing all the stuff I bought. I'm not trying to show off. I'm just trying to share with you, you know, some of the fun things that I was able to find and bring back before I give them away to friends and family. And also, <laughs> so that you can have something to see from my trip before uh, I have the time to sit down and go through all the footage that I took while I was there. So, while you're waiting on that, now I can show you what I got while I was there. And my mother also recently took a trip to the UK. And so, you stick around to the end of the video, I'll show you some of the stuff from England uh, and Wales and Scotland that she brought back, too. So, stick around for that. It's not all Japanese stuff in this video. I knew I had to get something for my son, and so I went to the <laughs> Pokemon Mega Center in Ikebukuro and got Pikachu. And let me tell you, he loves this thing. Loves it. You can see it from across the room, his face just lights up. Honto kawaii desu ne. Next up, of course, some more Gachapon. I got this one for my wife. It's more Mofusan. It's more Mofusan with the kitty cats. Decided not to use my phone uh, for this one today, so I won't be able to hold it up <laughs> to show you because it won't focus on it. This one is for my niece. It's just a little, uh, just a little Disney princess necklace. I don't know my niece will like. Speaking of gachapon, I got this for myself. <laughs> it's a cat with taiyaki, which I was finally able to have for the first time on this trip. And man, it was delicious. It was so good. I want more taiyaki. Moto taiyaki o tabetai desu ne. I was at Tokyo Tower and I got this little uh, thingy here. It looks like a pressed penny, but they actually didn't use a penny. Uh, they just had some copper blanks in there, but you put in your money and just like here, it spits out the, what looks like a penny. And then I also got this one too, this like collector coin. I had a lot of small coins, uh, you know, and I needed to get rid of it. So one of the ways I could do that was by getting this coin. Get rid of my coins by getting another coin. Makes total sense. At Meiji Jingu, I got some fancy looking coffee. And it's just like the coffee that I got in my hotel room, which I'm gonna make a video about soon, uh, which is really cool looking. It's upside down. But this just, it looked really cool. And I'm assuming, because it's from Meiji Jingu, that it might be uh, even higher quality than the other coffee. Also, you may remember the last time I got one of these little Ghibli film packs, button packs. It's just got a button in here from one of the films and you don't know what it is. So this time, the one I got is Kiki's Delivery Service. Also found a little ninja shop. <laughs> and it's exactly what it sounds like it is. <laughs> it has stuff like this, it's a little sticker. Like stickers for my computer. And I got some Shinobi Tabi socks. I wanted some Tabis for a long time. And then I also, because of my martial arts background, got some Samurai. Some Bushi Tabi. Next up, I got another Pokemon thing. Uh, this is for my cousin. Got a Meowth. And also at the Pokemon store, some other bits and bobs. <laughs> I got these for some friends, or rather, the Diglett's for a friend, the Charizard's for a friend, and Pikachu's for me. <laughs> uh, and then some little pink Pokemon stickers for my niece. And then this was not the Pokemon Center, but it was a really cool uh, taco restaurant that me and my coworkers went to. It's owned by a man from Mexico, Authentic Tacos. And uh, they've also got, you know, coffee and beer stuff too, so. If you're ever in Tokyo, you can check out this uh, this restaurant. Some more gifts for other people. I got this Shinobi pin and another Maneki Neko. So this one's bigger than the one I got last time. And this beautiful Japan mix. It's kind of cool though, because now I can look at this and be like, yep, I went to there and there and there. I can... I've not been everywhere on here, but I've been to some of these places, which is kind of cool. Now you know, I went to some more bookstores and got some more books. <laughs> you go to the bookstore sometimes, they put these little covers on them. Uh, in addition to the dust jacket that's already on there, I think that's, that's so cool. 
So I got this book called The Kanji Starter. And unlike some of the other books out there that are very complicated, which teach you how to learn kanji, this one's just kind of a more simple, like a symbol or a type of symbol, kind of idealistically, that the kanji would have come from. And this is kind of how it relates to that, at least in terms of its meaning and appearance. Some of these are made up, but they're really just designed to help you remember what the kanji characters mean. So, so far I've really liked it, and I'll put a link down in the description for it if you want to get a hold of it. Next, I of course got more manga. Last time I was there, I wanted to get this one, but I couldn't find it, so now I have Jujutsu Kaisen. And I got volume two of Not a Bull. But that's not all. I also got these JLPT practice books. So So some Celtic related items that my mom brought back from the UK. This time, <laughs> I haven't gotten to go yet, but my family <laughs> has been, so they bring, now my, my family's bringing me stuff back. So first, my mom got me this pair of socks from Stonehenge. And yes, Stonehenge is pre-Celtic uh, and is in England, but still really, really cool. I look forward to wearing these. And she also grabbed these in Scotland, Alba, and it's got some kind of tartan-ish type stuff on there. It's cool. She also brought uh, these back <laughs> 
for um, my toddler, a little <laughs> duck with bagpipes. <laughs> huh? I'm you cleansing kill more. And she also got Dragoch, <laughs> a tiny little red dragon from Wales. And so he loves to play with these in the bath. His uh, Tunak and his Dragoch. And finally, the pinnacle of them all. Uh, I know it says taste of Scotland, but it's not actually food. Uh, it's not literal food. My mom, somehow, in this bookstore in Edinburgh, that normally doesn't even have any books in Gaelic, found a Gaelic Bible. And this is just so cool. I have it on my phone. I have the Gaelic Bible on my phone, but to have a, a an imprint copy, you know, in person is just the coolest thing, the coolest thing. It might be a slightly different translation than the one I have on my phone, because this one's is, uh, I think 1985, something like that. Yeah, 1985. Now I've got the Bible in Gaelic. In the flesh, as it were. A people Gaelic. I guess. I could them all. Alright, that's what I've got for you all today. Be on the lookout in the coming months for lots of footage from Japan. Because now that I've been two different times, I've got tons of footage to go through. I've got uh, walkthroughs of different parks that I went to. I've got footage of just me going around doing stuff. I've got footage of, you know, coffee shops and restaurants I went to, uh, and even got some videos planned where I'm going to use the footage that I took in order to, you know, teach some of the things that I learned about Japanese and speaking Japanese while I was there. So if you're not subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you later. Marshin Leif, a